This one here you've got a, a, uh, a complex number in Cartesian form and you're asked to find the following arguments. Um, I've chosen to draw a little diagram here, I just find it useful to do. Now we're not trying to quickly punch this into the, the calculator to find it out because while I could do that it's not the quickest way to do it. So we've worked this out here and I've put in here uh, all of the working out for it so again it should be pretty straightforward I think. Uh, this problem here started to get more complicated, um, however they all follow a similar pattern. In the first section here we have the calculation uh, going here and we uh, are proving that, show that, so there's a proof. Now when we do the proof we find out that um, we're able to actually use this proof in part B. So notice we've got here sine theta plus cos theta i and we prove that. Once we've done that in part A, we then use that proof again and again because here's this sine theta plus cos theta A, there it is there, to the power of 7. So to solve this, it's just going to be this, cis pi over 2 th minus theta to the power of 7. And we'll use de Moire's theorem. Um, and so on all the way through. They get more and more complex, but it's still just basically that. You're going to end up with uh, various expressions of, uh, of cis. Um, next one and there's a series now of these the same thing show that this and they're just variations on that that's then applied to the next section but we've got different proofs and I think there's uh, three or four of those question seven same thing uh, they're using a proof then using that proof under these circumstances it's really just getting you used to manipulating these numbers now question eight the second last question that's uh, a little different again where they introduce uh, various other trigonometric functions and when you look at this you think oh goodness you know where did tan come from I haven't been using tan we've only been talking about cos and sine in complex numbers so where does tan fit in same thing with cot where does that fit in well you're just going to have to do a little bit of um, manipulating here remember the things like you've got 1 plus tan theta i and if that's the case then um, that's written as 1 plus, oh that's right, remember, tan is sine over cos. Um, now if I can write 1 as cos over cos, I've got this situation here, and oh look what I get in the top line. I get cos plus i sine theta. What's that? That's cis theta, isn't it? So if I can pull this out the front, 1 over cos, this I've ended up with 1 over cos cis theta, and 1 over cos is just sec theta. So that's the sort of thing that we're looking through it for as we move through here. A couple of places I've cheated. For example, cis is equal to cos theta plus i sine theta, isn't it? Here you've got the reversed around the other way. Well, I'm not going to go through it all again. Already in question 7, I'd already proved that this was equal to this. Now that comes up a couple of times, so it's quite appropriate to say, well, look, I've already done this. So that's from question 7, uh, that little proof there and so we put it in to get our answer there um, and so on uh, through it. Uh, there was only one question here, this was part 3 of uh, question 8, so it's uh, question 8b part 3 and um, I worked it out to being to here because I saw that sine cos um, comes close to being uh, sine 2 theta is equal to 2 sine theta cos theta, so look at that sine cos so clearly a half that was equal to sine cos, so I've put that in here. Um, they didn't uh, put that in the back of the book, they just uh, simply left it as 1 over sine and 1 over cos, which gives you cosec and sec. I think that's uh, not as simplified as this myself, but in any case they're both correct answers, so either way they're both perfectly okay. Um, Question 8, uh, let's just discontinued, is it? No, it's question 8. Uh, have I copied it twice? No, sorry, that was, that was 8A. This is 8B here. Um, notice that this is really just 8A. We've done 8A. And now part B is the same questions as part 8A, except we've got them to powers. So we just don't do it all again, we just take the answer that we got from 8a part 1, which is here, and then we just put that answer to a power, just like I've done here. And that's the way to work those out. And that's it. Um, 
question nine. Um, yeah, this was uh, just it was a bit ugly, only in the sense of just the amount of work you had to do to get there. But it all just brings it together. Uh, convert to polar, then use to De Moire's theorem. So this question here, we just do exactly that. Take that, convert it to uh, polar, and then use De Moire's theorem to calculate whatever the answer happens to be. You do have to worry about where the argument is, whether you've got an argument with a capital A or just an argument with a small a. Um, and so on. Uh, oh, this was a great question, this one, because it involved so many things. Here's basically the answer. However, that wouldn't be the answer that you'd see. This would be the answer that you see. Because, first of all, 5 pi over 4, let me just rub that out, 5 pi over 4 um, would in fact be not within that interval. So we need to change that. So 5 pi and 4 really puts us in the third quadrant, so we need to express it as that. And then this, the, the denominator is not rationalised. So multiplying top and bottom by root 2 will give us this. So that's the answer you'd have in an exam or, or something like that. Look, I've been rubbing bits out all over the place here. Um, that's what you'd have in an exam. So good question for getting in the, the answer in the right form. Um, and the next one, this is 9c, uh, the answer in the back of the book is incorrect. Um, they say the argument is minus 2 pi on 3, it's 5 pi on 6. Um, if you guys got any other opinion on that, let me know, but I uh, checked it against a calculator as well, and certainly it comes out as 5 pi on 6 as I got. Um, from this point on, I started uh, also putting the, the answer from the calculator, but I've shown you the workings out the long way um, as well through all of those problems. So look, I think I'll just about finish it there. I've uh, put pretty well all of them on, and um, uh, I think that should be sufficient for you. So this has been uploaded to the to the wiki.